Data is consistent with the theory that if the Aurora crashed on the- What the f- Hello you, welcome to Geekism, and welcome back to Subnautica, where we're going to start with a little bit of a base overview, because I've been having a bit of a wriggle around, uh, trying to make the place look uh, look good, and also work a little better as well, and make a little bit more sense. So from an overview then, it's almost symmetrical, okay, so uh, main area here, uh, to the left we have storage, and then our scanner. To the right, we have uh, water filtration at the moment, although that may change in the future. And then here is the new uh, project that we're going to be looking at today that opens out onto our garden. And then uh, at the back, we have our two moon pools. And at the top here, we have the captain's quarters. Hello. Uh, so from the inside, this is how it looks now. We've moved the bioreactor to uh, a little bit out the way, to be honest with you. So we've actually got a set of ladders here that... You wouldn't even notice unless you were actually wanting to come down them. And down here we have the bioreactor. Probably end up adding some plants and stuff down there as well. Still need to get back over the island and get some plants. Down there we have our docking bays. Uh, storage and scanning hasn't changed. But this way now is the laboratory. So we head down here. We have two water filtrations. I made a second one. Um, power seems to be managing, so I'm okay with that. Uh, that way we now have definitely got some water on the go. May end up filling this place with these eventually, to be honest with you. Or maybe there's some sort of nutrient bar place afterwards, I don't know. We've added a bit of a gar uh, glass tunnel here so we can look out into the garden. We're going to add some more of these and completely fill that with plants as we find them. And then we have our alien containment, which is our new uh, newest addition. And then we've got a hatch there out of the garden. And then above the alien containment, uh, well originally I built this because I assume this is where you threw the eggs in. But that's all glassed off. But this is going to be a laboratory with all that cool stuff that we found and we're going to, as if we're studying the aliens that we've got down here. One thing I have to figure out though is how to get stuff in here. Um, the only thing I haven't tried that I can think would work is to add a hatch is to add a hatch to it. There we go. And I was about to say that doesn't work, but actually it looks like it does. So if we add a hatch to it, and then can we like throw stuff into the hatch? Oh no, we could just get in it. Oh okay. Well I guess we're the alien, aren't we? So that really makes sense. So. Maybe we just go in there and drop any eggs we've got. Uh, as for eggs, I, I mean, I don't know whether whether we have to keep separate eggs separate and we're going to end up building quite a few of these things or what. But the one egg I really want to start off with, I've been dropping them all here, look, is the, the cutie egg. If I can figure out which one it was. They all look the same. Creature, egg, creature. I'm sure, didn't we have one that was like super cute? Did we? We'll be careful, and we kept it locked up. It was called something like cute egg or something, or it just, or maybe it just looked cute. I can't remember. Alien. Here it is. Look, creature egg. But it's got a little cutie face on. Look. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. So let's go and drop him in, and see if we have to feed them or what. I bet it's like a tamagotchi. I bet we have to sit and feed it and change its nappy. Uh, but I don't know. Let's just jump in, uh, and then we can go tab, and we can go drop. Okay, so it's let us do it. Oh, look at it. It's blinking. It is the most adorable thing. Well, it looks like that was what was meant to happen, so I'm happy with that. Can we now get out of here? I think it said that we could plant plant things in there as well. I'm sure I saw plant pop up, so should we go in and get some uh, a nice array of planting uh, stuff here? This is cool. Look, this is a new one we found. Um... This is a pygmy bulb bush. I, I'm not, I'm not going to take three. I'll just put... Oh, I just ate it. <laughs> okay, well, there's another one. Oh, okay, well, there's... All right, well, let's just plant the two for now. If we get another one of those, we might add them across. I quite like these gel sacks. Let's pick one of those up. And let's pick some... Um... Oops seed vine clusters because they make a good uh, they look good as well don't they in this sort of thing so I assume we can drop them in let's have a look enter alien containment that thing's not I bet that thing's gonna hatch and be the most horrific there look use planter look so let's put uh, oh you've gone over there okay oh it's all just based on the ground all right well let's put you in where have you gone I can't see where that's gone, but I guess it's got to grow, hasn't it, by those things. Alright, well, we'll come out for now. Um, and then up in the lab, I'm going to place a locker. 
that we can um, that we can keep all our crazy eggs in. So let's have a look. Uh, interior. Uh, well, that's not a big one. Let's do a big one over here. We'll end up decorating this all lovely soon. But for now, we'll put you down. Oops. Uh, we've got you, creature egg. So like I say, I'm not going to actually crack them all into there. I'm going to let that one see how it gets on first. Can we remove the hatch now that we're done with it? And will that leave stuff in there? Okay, so we can just place the hatch when we want to get into it. That's good news. That is good news. Okay, so let's head over here. So the, the, the floor plan for the place is getting pretty big now, to be honest. I feel like we have to move down before we move anywhere else. So I think another layer... The same as what we've got here, but underneath will probably be uh, the next thing to do. So let's take all that. These are all the eggs. I'm only doing this really in case there is a possibility of them wandering off. I mean, they have been there for an age, to be honest, but I feel like it's probably important. Oops. The only thing with this alien containment is it is massive. Like, it's a squeeze to get around it, you know. Oh, not close enough, was I? There we go. Um, so we'll put all of you creature egg creature egg, creature egg, creature egg. okay cool and we've got a neutron block and we've got ah that's what we were going to do I've been and got myself more titanium than I can shake a stick at turn it into uh, plasteel with the aerogel from those things um, basically we've got everything we need apart from oh I can't remember what the other things were now I'm going to have to run back basically I'm going to make the next depth module for the Seamoth and we're going to go deeper that's what this episode is all about people keep telling me in the, in the comments they're saying look you want to move on you got to go deeper so for the next Seamoth depth module uh, we need there we go I've got the plas plasteel I've got the magnoids we need enameled glass and uh, oh the mark 1 module that's right okay so we need to go and get that out of the Seamoth itself so Let's quickly do that. We'll go and get an enameled glass. We've got plenty of that stuff. We've got a water ready there for us as well. So let's head into storage. Um, there's one enamel glass already made for us. That uses the stalker teeth, if I remember rightly. Now we'll head down here to the docking bay, into the Seamoth docking bay, and here it is, the meme machine. And we'll take you from there. Crush depth now back to 200. Okay. So that, now, let's get back down to that. See, I'm starting to find my way around the place. Oh, yeah, another water. Great. And uh, to be fair, this modification station is probably too far away, but I just felt like a lab would be a place for it. Okay, so this should now make a... That's made a Mark two. Increases diving depth considerably. We'll be the judge of that, whether it's considerably or not. Uh, let's shoot down here. Back over to the uh, Sea Moth Bay. Definitely going to be looking at getting some more signage around this place eventually because I think it, even if I don't actually need it, I think it adds a lot to it. Uh, 500 meters now. Fantastic. So we have our storage module. So we still have, seeing as they haven't got a stack, those depth ones, we have space for two more uh, funky things on here. So let's have a look. Um, we can do an engine efficiency module reduces heat by product to min oh, sorry in oh, my words try that again put my teeth in recycles heat by product to minimize power inefficiencies CMOTH prawn compatible so that oh, we can't make any of that polyaniline not yet but that might be good to make the batteries last longer we also have hull reinforcement preemptively hardens the chassis before collision eliminating damage under normal conditions CMOTH prawn compatible okay so we can also do, we've got the depth. Solar charger could be interesting, but the, the whole point is that we're going away from the sun now. Perimeter defense system, that could be useful, especially for the, in the last episode, that thing ripped us to shreds. Uh, torpedo and sonar, I'm not too worried about. Do you know what? I think um, a hull reinforcement, because I'm constantly smashing the place up, to be honest, so hull reinforcement probably isn't a bad idea. And we do actually have a fair old whack of, um, of diamonds, because... We've been having those for quite a while and not doing much with them. Look at this. One, two, three, four. So we'll take them. Because we found a lot of diamonds, um, I think, in the jelly shrooms, which is where we're going to head back to today. We're going to see if there's anything down, because we haven't had a proper look around there. Um, so let's have a look. Here we go. Jelly shrooms, hull reinforcement, titanium, lithium, and diamonds. And we're going to make the most badass sea moth you've ever seen in your life. So let's get into here and put you in and 
health 94% and the energy is fully charged. Okay, so we need... I don't know what to do with these fungal samples. I tried planting them. Welcome aboard, the pissing water. Uh, I tried planting them and they wouldn't plant. So I'm going to chuck them into my plant life cupboard. And we're going to go and grab a bit of food. We're going to grab a bit of... Um, oh, too far. We're going to grab some batteries. <laughs> plant life. Here we go. Um, let's just drop those in there. We also have a scanner room speed upgrade, but we've gone for the size instead, so tools, I guess I can put that in. What else have we got here? Cyclop engine efficiency, pulsion cannon radiation helmet, everything else we kind of need. Right, going to get myself sorted and go on a little outing. Okay, here we are in the jelly shroom cone. So, so far, this is the pretty much about as deep as we've gone, uh, and I've had a bit of a look around here. Basically, what I'm going to try and do now is we can we can hang out down here a lot better, basically. So I'm going to see if there's anything I missed uh, and see if anything here will sort of forward me onto our next spot because we haven't heard anything on the radio for quite a while um, or anything from our young lady who, uh, who helps look after us, the computer voice. So hopefully down here I might find something that will uh, point us in the right direction. Oh, hello, cuddlefish egg. I don't know if you saw that before I noticed. It's literally just popped up in the corner, cuddlefish egg discovered. That tells me that the little dude back home has hatched and he's a cuddlefish and I've got something eating me. And I'm really needing loads of slate shale. Alright, let's let's get I'm not having this thing blow up on me again, so let's just get out and and fix it. A little Not having this happen again. So I want to go and check out my cuddlefish, but I just I've been swimming around for about an hour now and just really not finding anything of note. And I I got a feeling we might have to move the scanner bed. All I'm gonna do is I'm just following this until it dives down basically. Here we go. So this here we go, we're diving down now. Because we can get to five hundred, so chances are I mean already look, we're hitting something crazy. What the hell is this? I think I feel like I've seen this before. Huh, maybe not. I wish we could scan from the sea moth, then I suppose what's the what would be the uh membrane. Yeah, we've seen a membrane membrane blah, 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 blah. we've seen one of them before, a membrane tree, so perhaps we've maybe just looked at the outskirts of this, but look at this. I'm I think I have been here before, but I I remember so little of it. Let's dive down and see. 500 meters. It soon goes, doesn't it? Look, we're nearly there now. Okay, looks like we might just let's go a little further. We're certainly not hitting. <gasps> There's that thing I saw before. I saw these before. They're so beautiful. Look, they light up really nicely. And I'm pretty sure I've got an egg of one of them. So let's just stick to the sort of top end of this area. That looks like something I can. That looks like something I can grab. Let's risk it for a biscuit. Is it? Oh, it is a uranite crystal. I think that's uh, one of the later, um, you know, sort of resources. There's a few more around. Okay, I'm going to collect some uranite crystals. Then we'll go and have a look at our cuttlefish egg. Okay, just before we head back, the lady's saying that there's a large metal mass here. So that suggests to me that there might be another base around. Oh my god! Oh, I hate these things! Where's me? Where's the sea? Where's the... Oh my god. I hate those things. They scare the hell out of me every time. Ugh. Oh no! Come on, I've just got back to it! Quick, quick, quick. Come on, let's, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's head over here. Okay, so... Oh my, my heart's going. Uh, the lady on the radio was saying that there is a there is a titanium mass in this area and an extensive cave network. I think we're going to have to keep working on on getting our uh, our next uh, depth module because we're only on the look we're only on the cusp of this area. There's still so much to see, but this is definitely uh, a place to check out. Luckily, I have a beacon. I'm going to drop a beacon off so we know where to, where it is to come back to it. I'm going to get a few of these uranium crystals or uranites or whatever. It says they're used in nuclear power, which sounds cool. 
What are you? You're a gel sack. We've got we've got you. We don't need you. We have you growing already. I have picked up a few new seeds that we're going to get going in the garden. Whether or not they uh, are any good or not, I don't know. But um, I just see if there's much else here. At the moment, I just I feel like we're scratching the surface of a whole new chunk of the game. You know. Um, yeah. Make sure we don't get too far away from the sea moth. Uh, let's see if we can scan these bad boys because these are just so beautiful. Jelly Ray. Sound like you're going to hurt me, Jelly Ray. Jelly Ray, actually, they sound like they sound a bit like a um, like a jazz singer. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jelly Ray. Uh, okay, where's the sea moth? All right, let's head back. Oh, doesn't the base look pretty as you come into it? Beautiful. Ah, oh, right. Okay, let's park up. Let's try and do this without crashing. Oh, look at that. We were about to crash. <laughs> the game saved us. Uh, I want to go and find out what... Um, I don't think it was here. Was it we have to do it on the, on the modification sta station? Uh, we've got Mark 1. I want to see what Mark 3 is. Because that would be really handy for that new area, I think. Uh, also, let's head out here. I want to get some... Uh, where's our habitat builder? I want to get number 5 on there. Uh, build a few more of the uh, lab things. The water's ready. That's good. Let's have a look at our little cuddlefish. Oh look! Oh, is it? Oh, he's quite gross. Oh no, he's quite cute. Oh look, he's like a little half octopus, half uh... hi floaty balls. I I named that area floaty balls, by the way. That's what that is down there. Um. Oh look. Oh, he's quite adorable. He doesn't seem to do much, but. I'm kind of going to let him get away with it. Oh, there's that thing growing as well now. That's good as well, isn't it? Oh. Oh, well, we'll leave him in there for now. He's, he's very sweet. He's not causing anybody any bother. Um, uh, indoor grow bed. No, we want external grow beds. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Uh, get a few more of these bad boys down because, um, well, we've got more things to grow now. Um, oh, da, 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 da. Let's just turn that around there. A bit of a run in between them, but for the most part, it's going to be a case of just sort of plunking them down. What do we need? Titanium. We've got plenty of that. All right, I've got enough for one more before I have to go looking for the stuff. So I'll put you down there. These aren't quite as lined up as I'd like, to be honest, but there was a stuff in them. You can't really tell. So we've got another four there. Okay, cool. So uh, let's get in here. What did we catch? We caught an, an eye seed stalk. So we'll get you going. Are you growing somewhere? Yeah, over in that corner. That's good. And then here we'll get these um, these two rouge cradles. I think that's all we got. We also got another two eggs as well. So um, I didn't um, didn't see many people comment about the eggs in the last episode. So you have to let me know what what really is the sort of aim of them if, other than just sort of like collecting them we have a new radio message that's the sort of thing we've been waiting for for a hell of a long time let's see a little bit cuddlefish eee cuddlefish okay um, let's get some water from these this is good this is what we like and here as well lots and lots of water there's always salt there if we need it too um, okay let's have a listen to this this is life pod 2 coordinates attached we're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Now, I have a feeling we've already been to number two. Um, CTOs before she abandoned it. Sunk 500 meters before she abandoned it. Hmm, yeah, I think it might be into that one. But either way, we can go 500 meters with the sea moth now. Let's just have a quick look at what the next lot needs with the sea moth. Can't remember if it's got stuff that we can build or not. Uh, in here, isn't it? Let's have a look. Uh, sea moth upgrades. Mark 3. There it is, look. So it's a. Uh, oh, 3 rubies and plasteel. So I think we can do that. Because I think plasteel is just titanium. And aerogel, and aerogel is just gel sacks. I think we've got all we need for that, to be honest. Let's have a look. Plasteel. Oh, it's lithium, that's right. Titanium and lithium. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we've got everything we need for that. Maybe we have to go and get a few titanium, but there's plenty of metal salvage outside. 
Uh, and rubies. I'm pretty sure we've got rubies. All right, I'll gather up some titanium. And uh, let's have a lot of gems. Yeah, we've got the rubies we need as well. Awesome. Let's pop these in there for now. Um, I can't remember if I've given magnetize its own. I have given it its own box. I don't really know why. Um, diamond and lithium. Okay, cool. Right, let's get that Mark III one made up. Okay, so we'll have to take Mark II out of here. Um, I went and raided the uh, metal salvage nests of the little dudes over there. So let's take Mark II out of there. Head back to uh, whoop, to um, the modification station. Yeah, thinking about it, modification station would probably be better suited down actually, or at least a second one would be better suited down there. Because at the moment, there's not much here that's any good. There we go, Mark Three. Cool. Um, that was actually pretty easy. I suppose like the rubies maybe are tricky to get, but I, 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 what I always try and do is if I've got nothing in my bags, I'll just take a load of something so I've got it when I need it, you know? Um, so I've done that with magnetite and, and, and rubies, and it's come, come in quite handy a couple of times now, to be honest. So uh, here we go, access upgrades. We'll put the Mark III one in there. 900 meters now. Fantastic, that's the sort of thing we're thinking about. Um, so we will go back down to the Jelly Shroom Caves, but first of all, let's just go and check this out. I'm pretty sure I've been there, but if not, let's go and have a look. Okay, here's the deep dive. Found a couple of wrecks on the way. Nothing really of note, though, but yeah, I don't think we've been here before. This is... Uh, this most certainly is looking like a new area. Quartz on the ground. Uh, they look new? Just if there's anything around that looks like it's going to eat me. That definitely looks new. Blood oil. New blueprint from blood oil. Okay, I'll take a couple of you. Um, take a couple for now so we can figure out what it does. Okay, you, you're a gel sack, so we've got you. Quartz and blood ores all the way down. Uh, here's the pod itself. Yeah, definitely have not managed to get down this deep before. Oh, there's a warper over there. Okay, so keep our eye out for him. Or her. Um, let's check this out. Alright, in we go. Bring a bit of light on the situation. Uh, not much to say other than probably a PDA. Is that it? We've come all this way for a PDA? Okay. Um, let's see what she's got to say. Flotation devices failed. We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge pump. It's working. Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. Okay, so it doesn't seem like they've done very well. But maybe the whole point of this sort of exercise is to get us to sort of check out the area around it. So that looks, is that a ruby? So that looks nice and flashy, yeah it does. What about this dude over here? This looks like, uh, like nothing on earth. Okay, uh, can we give it a little smack? We can give it a smack but nothing happens. Lots of quartz and blood oils, that's, uh, that's all new. I'm pretty sure that's just a rouge, uh, yeah, rouge cradle. Okay, we've definitely got those because we just planted one. Um, all right, well, let's dive down here and have a look. Oh, look. These are new, spindly spidey spiders. We've definitely not seen you before. We've seen your uh, shorter-legged cousins, but um, yeah, you're definitely new. Okay, so let's. we're going to play this smooth. We're going to play it careful. We're gonna, we've got a blood root. There we go. Let's see if that's anything of note. Um, doesn't seem to be much. Okay. What about these little, little legged guys? Where have they gone? Oh, hello. Oh my god. Sorry, that that was loud. Let's get back in here. <laughs> the heart goes every time. Ah, okay. Oh look, what about down here? Taking it easy. 
Oh, that's just the same part. Okay, so it's just a little, little circle there. That was nice. Um, which way does it look like we can go? Maybe down here? There's our jumpy dudes, man. They're loving it. They're having the time of their lives. Okay, what we got? Nothing really. No, lots of just more quartz and that. Oh, there's some uranite. Okay. But to be fair, we've got a fair bit of that back at the base now because I cleaned up last time. Definitely, uh, definitely newer, newer sort of area though, isn't it? What on earth? What on earth? Oh my god, what the hell is that thing? Hello. Oh, it looks like the bad guys from Mars Attacks. Hello, little octopus man. You're not going to hurt me, are you? I'm going to come over here out of the way. Oh, okay, uh, what can we see? What can we see? Anything? No. Good. This is quite a barren area, to be honest with you, apart from blood oil. And there's something tapping on me, but I'm not even going to turn around and see what it is. Uh, okay. Okay. We've got our blood oil. There doesn't actually seem to be much else down there. That's definitely the area there, isn't it? We've come out the other side of it here. We're sort of... It's de definitely further down the crazier it is. Let's try... Let's just go down here into the abyss. We're only half the distance we can actually travel at the moment. We can go 900 down and we're only four, six. There we go. There's five. Oh my god, this is like a proper chasm. That's 600. Oh my word, how deep can we actually go in this game? We're nearing 700 and there's absolutely nothing about other than this wall that we're running along the side of here. What on earth is this place down here? We can go 800. Yeah, not even close. This is definitely going to be where we have to come. Crater Edge. Ah! Do you like us kind of this area show a steep incline in all directions? The data is consistent with the theory that if the Aurora crashed on the. What the f- Oh wow, it's beautiful, and it's gonna—it's most it's definitely gonna kill me. Right? Okay, I think I figured this out. I think. Ah, oh, look at him! It crashes right on me. I think we're at the edge of the world. I think that's what the idea is. I think because it, it's not procedural. This is a generated plane area, and I think we're uh, we're at the edge of it. Okay, that would make sense. Let's head back to where I know there is stuff. And I'm assuming that that ghosty thing is there to absolutely rip me to shreds if I ever try doing that again, which I will not be, don't worry. Oh my words, I'm, I've got to listen back to that to see what sort of words I say and whether any of them are actual words and whether some of them are just Right, okay, because I think most of them will just be Okay, let's, uh, let's just check that out. Is that one of those pods that I can't do anything about? Yeah. There is definitely something down here that wants to eat me. But I'm pretty sure that's the game from now on. Oh my god, I can't cope with this. My heart is going ten to a dozen. Let's um, let's go back to the floaty, uh, floaty balls. There we go, because I don't think we saw all of that. Okay, we're now back in the what I consider to be much safer uh, serenity sort of a sanctuary area of floaty balls. Um, uh, got a new radio message as well. It just popped up then, so we'll have to make sure we head back and pick that up in a little while. But for now, I want to go deep down into uh, this area here and see if I can figure out what the uh, oh bloody warpers. There's loads of them. Look, figure out what the um, titanium deposit was that she was talking about, or titanium mass at least said that somewhere here there was a large titanium mass but it, they couldn't tell whether it was from the aurora or not so it may well be uh, a base or maybe like another alien pod well, I can't really think why there would be what's that our oh, main base okay um can't really think why there would be an alien pod down here unless they think thought it was a whoop, 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 whoop. 
come this way. I thought it would be a good idea to have an underground base or underwater base as well. What about down here? Oh, sorry, fishy. Oh, this is a new little. There's a couple of new little pods down here. Okay, this. These look like new creatures, but again, they look relatively harmless. Okay. Let's go and have a check out of one of these first. An uh, amoeboid, I assume that is. Uh, simple non sensitive organism. Yeah, useless. Okay, cool. Well, it was nice to scan. Uh, right. Well, we need to start doing bringing the gear for a mobile scanner down with us when we come to places like this, isn't it? Um. Okay, this looks like some sort of pond or oh, well, it can't be can I underwater? <laughs> okay, so this must be like some sort of get like very heavy gas. Can we go in it? Okay, we can. Doesn't particularly seem damaging. It's really interesting though, it's like a river, it is like a Spongebob Squarepants school of uh, water physics because they always have rivers and stuff in the water. Um, let's follow it along, it definitely seems a bit like a gas, oh look that looks like a bone, it is bone, oh look! Oh, this is creepy. Okay cool, let's keep exploring for a minute. This video is going to be really long again, I'm sorry. I just I haven't really found a good spot to cut. Oh yeah, look, there are all big bones down here. What's amazing is that you can access this area from sort of any point because, you know, you're in water. But there always seems to be a, like a track for you to follow, you know? Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Here we go. This is, must have been what we were talking about. They are, there are alien setups checking this thing out okay there doesn't look to be anything oh look yeah this is this is being under quarantine or something from the aliens okay let's uh ancient oh the whole thing okay let's scan the whole thing let's see what this tells us uh, the skeleton of a million year old armoured carnivore. Projections suggest this life form would have been larger than any living creature encountered on the planet. The oceans at the time would have been very different to support life forms this size, with more open geography and many more individuals in the Leviathan range. Okay, so basically, this is a long death. This is kind of like our equivalent of dinosaurs, I guess. Years ago, this thing would have a swim. Can we scan the. Uh, yes, we can. Scan the alien sensor, see if that, see if they know what to do. Research probes. Uh, prominence and facing of these alien devices suggests that they are some kind of probe or sensor. There would need to be a vast skeleton in the center of the cavern. The attached cable network may lead to remote power station or data hub. Aha! Okay, so let's see if we can actually follow the tube. Um, let's head back over here and let's follow the tube. <laughs> Do with a little drop of water. Luckily, we came prepared. Okay, so over here looks like. Oh, okay. Well, I thought it was going to be a bit of a longer adventure than that, but yeah, there we go. There's the door. Um, are we going to need a tablet? I bet we need a purple tablet. Oh, a, oh, what? Oh, we need. A, that's not purple. I don't know what color it is, but it's not purple. Uh, oh, well, that's through a little spanner in my works then because we can make the purple ones, but I guess not whatever colour that is. Definitely not purple, is it? Sorry, if you don't know, I'm colourblind. Yeah, it's definitely not purple. Um, okay. Let's head the other way. Let's follow the. See, so they just come round to here, don't they? Yeah. Ah, curiouser and curiouser. This I don't think we've scanned this plant yet, if we can. Oh, okay, so the oh, right, okay, so the gas hurts me. But not when I'm in the sea moth, alright. I should have should have thought to check that, shouldn't I, like an idiot? Uh alright, okay, so we need a we need a non purple tablet. 
I guess it's orange or green. Like I say, I'm really sorry. I'm not great with colours. But I don't think there's much else down here. Maybe down this way. These are really beautiful, these like uh, pearlescent rays. Okay. Okay, this looks... I don't think this is the way we came in. This looks a bit more open. Oh, another radio message. Okay, we're smashing it now. <gasps> look! Oh, look! Another one! Terrain scans indicate this biome contains unusually high concentrations of organic and fossilized remains. That that thing looks badass. Okay. I don't know whether that's like a big, big guy and he's far away, or if he's not so bad and he's close up. Uh, wow, this yeah, like a really heavy gas. That's a really nice idea. Nice way of making water exist in here, basically. I feel like I want to try and scan the scan the big thing again, can we? Yes, we can. Skeletal remains. Keep an eye out for those. Let's get back in here. Although this isn't really going to do me much good, is it? But I want to... Gargantuan fossil. Uh, the fossilized remains of an extinct super predator, its sheer size would have prohibited it from entering such an enclosed space, suggesting the geography of the planet has shifted around it over time. Oh, interesting. Uh, dated at approximately 3 million years old, ribcage measurements suggest the creature was eel-like. Calculations suggest this is the only, the front third of them specimen, and the remains now support a vibrant microism of life. Uh, there are a series of precise angular indentations on the ribcage suggesting... That Siri, now I'm not talking to you, Siri. <laughs> Phones jumped into life. The series of um, precise angular indentations on the ribcage suggesting that third parties taken samples. Oh. Look at, there it's babies, look. There, that's its big baby over there. That thing looks impressive, but I want to keep out of its way. Right, I think, um, I think exploring this area here. It's going to have to be the next episode because we're pushing it on for time now, aren't we? Uh, yeah, definitely think we're going to have to come and check this place out in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Here's his ribcage look. Oh, Any uh, final tips before I dive into this place? Let me know. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, just give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. If you fancy chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks very much for watching. If I survive, I'll see you in the next one.